Okay, so earlier what I did is I created a Google site. If you are logged into your Google Chrome account, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to incorporate your Google group into a website if you've created a Google website. So I created a website earlier that's called the technology page. And right now that's all I have. I haven't done a whole lot to it. I'm going to click on that little pencil that says uh, that that's how you edit the page. Now if I come over here and click on insert, I can insert my Google group, which is right here. Now the only thing is, is that when I click on the Google group, I have to have uh, the listing or the URL of the Google group. So my Google group was technology, I think. So I'm going to type it in and see if it'll pull it up. No, it's not in there yet. So I'm going to hit groups, Google technology. There it is. Now, if you don't know how to get there from, from uh, your, your, your website, if you log into Google and you go to groups, then you could click on my groups. And then your groups, you could join groups that are outside of the Lakers domain or you could join the ones that are inside. Anything that we create should be in the lmclakers.org. So by selecting that, I'm going to look at my groups that I have that are controlled by lmclakers.org. And technology is the one. By clicking on that, it'll open up my site. So that's the one that I want. I'm going to copy and paste that. Right click here and copy that. And I'm going to go back to my website that I was editing. And right here where it says the URL is required, I'm going to click. Boom. There it is. And I want it to fill 100%. And we'll put a scroll bar. And so right now it just says home. I'm going to change that to um, technology. Technology page. Mr. Adams and hit save. And then once I hit save, it'll automatically uh, have the Google group in incorporated in my website. So that is the actual Google group uh, incorporated in my website. And that's how you do that. Okay. And I could, I could even edit this too if I wanted to, like if I wanted to change the name of the Google group. Uh, if I click on it and I click on the settings, right here where it says Google group, I could change it to the title of the group. So the actual title of the group is technology group. And that's pretty much it. Click save again. Boom. I'll take a second for it to load, and there it is, incorporated in my page. It's just that simple. Jimmy.